There are so many plugins on ChatGPT these days if you have the ChatGPT Plus, and it can be difficult to know what they are or how to sort through them. So we're gonna be going through some of those today. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, we are back in ChatGPT today. And now this is something that you will only be able to benefit from if you have ChatGPT Plus which is the paid subscription to ChatGPT, which if you're trying to use AI for writing, I highly recommend you do this anyway. But um, ChatGPT now has access to a bunch of different plugins. As we can see here, we come up to here, ChatGPT 4, and then select plugins, and then you get this little drop down here with a bunch of different plugins, and then you can go through those, or you can come here to plugin store, and from there, pick a plugin that works for you and see how it goes. The problem with this is that it can be difficult to sort through them and that, that is what uh, I'm gonna try and do today is to help you sort through them. So you know which ones are useful and which ones are not uh, specifically for authors. There are a lot of useful plugins that uh, I personally have no use for. But let's go through them right now. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is not actually really a plugin. It's just this browse with Bing thing here. So this is a way for it to be able to uh, look at the internet and read the internet and be able to give you a response that is up to date and accurate. And so this can really help if you're using ChatGPT for research purposes. Say you're a historical fiction author, you want to understand something about uh, a certain place at a certain time. It could be useful in that regard. It could also be good for just pulling up straight facts. So for instance, let's say who won the Super Bowl in 2023. This is not something that ChatGPT would be able to intuitively know on its own because uh, its data training set only went up to September of 2021. But if we use this with the browsing plugin, first of all, it gives us uh, the the little plug in there it says the Kansas City Chiefs who won the Super Bowl in 2023 defeating the Philadelphia Eagles and it gives us a little source for that if we want to make sure uh, we know who um, who the source is so that's plugin number one I know it's not really a plugin but it's it functions like one and it's actually really really useful at times especially if you're doing research so let's do another one go back to plugins here another one that I find kind of useful in, in certain situations is this one called AI tool hunt uh, make sure everything else is unchecked right now AI tool hunt now this is a plugin that will help you find other AI tools so say there's something specific you would like to use AI for like find me an AI tool to create animated movies this is something that the technology is getting there. It's not quite there yet, but I would love to be able to create like an animated adaptation of a story or something like that. I think that's just a few years away before that will be absolutely possible for authors like ourselves. So we have stable animation, um, pose animator, animatable. Gives us a whole bunch. This is actually a lot more. Now, Wonder Dynamics I have heard of. They're actually pretty cool. Um, I haven't heard of most of these others, so this might be a good way to look through all of those AI tools out there and really explore and see if any of them are worth looking at. Um, so that's tool number two. Tool number three, if we go back here to the plugins, is a little plugin called, we'll uncheck this one here, Prompt Perfect. So this plugin is pretty simple. You make sure the word perfect is in your prompt and it will try to help you come up with a perfect prompt. Now, if you are familiar with prompt engineering and you're good at it and you've done a lot of work to create, craft and create your prompts that are giving you exactly what you wanted, I still think that is gonna be a higher quality than what this gives you. But as with AI in general, um, using a tool like this is actually a really good way to give you some ideas that you might not have thought of on your own. So let's just say craft a perfect prompt to generate 
a character profile for a fiction novel. And that should activate the plugin. Yep, it's activating that plugin. And here we go. Here's a comprehensive prompt that will yield a detailed character profile for a fictional novel. Name of the character, age and physical description, character and up, or background and upbringing, personality traits, strengths and weaknesses, hobbies and interests, occupations and skills, motivations and goals, relationships with other characters, etc., etc., etc. This is this is pretty good. That's a a good prompt for a character profile. Um, I've seen it do better, but we could try another one. Give me a perfect prompt for brainstorming novel out or let's say book ideas. This is kind of a fun plugin. I've actually played around with this one a fair amount. So genre, theme, settings, characters, plot. Notice it's given us a framework and I have talked in other videos about the importance of frameworks to prompting. And so this is basically giving us that which we can then plug back into ChatGPT and and use. Um, so yeah, this is a good place to kind of brainstorm your prompts and figure out exactly what you want to do there. All right, let's move on to the next plugin, which this one's just a little fun one. I don't think it actually has a whole lot of practical usage, but it's called Creature Generator. And this is just a quick plugin that allows you to create a random creature. And its main focus is to be used in role-playing games, but there's often, as many authors know, uh, a large overlap between role-playing games and fiction, and fiction writing specifically. It's kind of the same sort of creative process. So create a random monster for me that should Activate the plugin. All right, so it's asking us what environment this creature lives in. Please choose one of the following. So we have grassland, desert, icy forest, swamp, underwater mountain, and underground cave. Let's say swamp. And now it's using the creature generator. And sometimes it'll give you an image, but it looks like that's not really working today. Um, but we got the Swamp Dweller, very original. Gives us a little bit of a description for the Swamp Generator and uh, some stats if you're into role playing. That can be useful there. Um, so that's, that's kind of just a fun one. Uh, I don't know how practical it is for authors, but I thought I would include it. Next, we're going to look at one called... WebPilot. WebPilot is unique because it allows, unlike the browsing plugin, which will kind of search the internet for something, WebPilot lets you look at a specific URL. So let's go to my website, mythbank.com, and choose an article, uh, let's say about Avalon. And we're going to copy and paste this into ChatGPT. And say we're going to, uh, let's say, can you give me a summary of this URL or of the content at this URL? And it activates the plugin. This one sometimes takes a little longer because it's got to actually scan the page. And here it is. It's a comprehensive exploration of Avalon, a significant location in Arthurian legends. Goes on to elaborate on that and give me a summary of the entire page. And since I recently wrote this thing, I can tell you it is spot on. But one of the nice things that this does is it allows you to kind of open a dialogue with um, 
any page on the internet and kind of ask it questions essentially and ask for um, summaries and different things like that. Um, or you can put these in as sources and then write something <coughs> original with these as your sources. And so this one's a really cool and really useful, uh, especially if you write nonfiction and are using some of these things as uh, research material. All right, moving on to the next one. We have uh, Bookworm. Last but not least, this is the last one I got for you, and it is a important one. So we'll uncheck WebPilot and look at Bookworm. Bookworm is a great plugin for creating book recommendations for people. I actually believe that AI is going to eventually be the main driver behind discoverability of books and other media. And we're seeing just the beginning of that with plugins like this one. It's not perfect, but I'm, I want to talk about this one specifically so that we can get an idea of what could be possible. So with that pl plugin selected, let's say, give me some recommendation for Peter Pan retellings and see what it gives us with that. Okay, it gives us, it's asking us for a little clarification. Uh, do we want them that stay close to the original story or more creative interpretations? Let's say more creative interpretations, please. Oh, and I forgot to answer the last little bit. Uh, adults. Now it's using Bookworm. Activating the plugin. And it should give us a number of books. And look at that. It gives us an image. It gives us a link to Amazon. Looks like that's an affiliate link to Amazon um, with the, I assume this is how this plugin makes money is through affiliate to Amazon. Peter and the Star Catchers, I've actually heard of that one. Alias Hook, a novel. These definitely look, well, especially this first and last one here, definitely look like they are um, good recommendations for adults like I asked. And so this could be a really interesting thing going forward and I would encourage you uh, if you have readers uh, to maybe start playing around with tools like this because I think they're going to be important in the future. I did test this one out quite a bit in the past and uh, I tried I straight up asked it to show my books and it didn't show them and so I don't know what database they're pulling from but it doesn't seem to be very comprehensive. I don't think it's looking at every book on Amazon. And so that's a little bit of a problem. But again, these tools are just in their infancy. And so it's only going to get better from here. This is the worst it's ever going to be, which is the crazy thing about AI. Uh, it's only going to get better. Uh, but regardless, I think this is actually a really cool uh, plugin that to play around with or to encourage your readers to play around with if they have ChatGPT subscriptions. We'll also start to see these things uh, on Bing and you can probably use them there as well. I haven't actually checked to see if this particular plugin is on Bing, but if it is, that would be a great thing for um, readers to try out and see if they could come up with some good book recommendations because I do think that is the future of book recommendations, especially organic book recommendations because everything on Amazon is pay to play now and there, we've really lost that organic uh, reach that made so many authors uh, into successful authors early in the the early days of KDP. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case anymore. That everything's pay to play, which is normal. Um, most uh, industries are pay to play, and it's only a few that get lucky for a little while that they have organic reach until they do become pay to play. We're seeing that now with TikTok started off really good for getting organic reach and now is starting to become a little more pay to play. And so that's going to ruffle some feathers for sure. But thank you for joining me on this video and I'll see you then in the next one.